We are at the Trellick Hall of Fame, legendary, 35 years. I'm here with the One Collective. Ladies, tell us about what's going on over here right now and what's been happening. For us, we, we had actually, we had had the idea of um, partnering women with men for a paint jam anyway, right? Okay, so if we get women with men, and then it's like, oh, we'd love to have writers with these street artists. Everything just kind of worked out for the perfect space that let's do this for Trellick Tower since they're trying to get rid of, you know, they're trying to get rid of this place. And there's 35 years deep of history. There's not many places like that around um, London anymore. We wanted to really bring awareness and, and you know, if aside the the dispute and you know between egos in art, you know, and let's come together with what we all must to do than is paint. It's really not the easiest thing to put together an event with artists. <laughs> it really isn't, unless you've got a. Um, unless, like, I mean, because we're new. We, this is we, what we will be celebrating our second year this year. So we, as a collective, as you know, what we do, we're very new to this, but. You know, with more and more things that we do, we'll people will want to come to our thing. And that's when you know that you'll have more secure artists that will not just say, yeah, I love to be involved in and don't turn up on a day, but they make it their duty to make sure that they are available for that day. How many jams have we done so far? I think I was one day, I think six in total. Is it six? So we've done six jams so far, and this is our first one in um, inviting men into our space as well. And, you know, the reason why we did that is because these guys have been so supportive of what we're doing. They really, really, really are supportive. And I suppose sometimes, maybe just because the fact that we're women, you know what I mean? We've got some hot women in the, the collective, so obviously there's a couple of guys sniffing around for something. Yeah, but, no, but in terms, I, I, I personally want to be because uh, a lot of people, when when we start this collective and you know, came and start to say, well, you know, I'm not really agree with the doing because it's like it's of a sexist, you know, includes men, and I am not uh, one of the feminists. I personally have a lot of support for my male friends, and I learned so much from them, and they shared their knowledge with me, and we wanted to to show this as well. Oh, it was beautiful, Just like matching together. people together who we'd never met before. So, you know, you had you had like a, a new street artist, a lady that's just come out, maybe she's done two pieces and then she's Mar Mar Ah, they were the best couple. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you know, you know Paul, Don. He partnered with um, um Ma and just watching them from a distance interact with each other was beautiful. It was great. It was great. Sometimes people look at the spray can and straight away they think vandal. Until they look at the wall and then they say, Oh, actually that's art artwork with the spray can. So that's what we're doing. We're filling the gap between like just the idea that it's vandals. So maybe some people looked at that trail um, hall of fame and be like, well, it's only the vandals that are down there anyway. But actually, those vandals are artists. <laughs> and they're, 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 they're very amazing. But we understand that there, you know, there's certain prejudice against writers than, than street artists. So that was beautiful for us. We felt quite proud of ourselves to be able to bridge that gap and show and show somebody who may, you know, have a certain certain idea of what they think a, a street artist is and that to actually see it and be like, wow, this is beautiful. And yeah, it's, sometimes it's just having these open uh, events make people like come. And I mean, Carlina and I, we are really people person, so we love people and, and we are really people person. So, yeah. you know, break that scary like you can speak with artists and that's okay but at the same time in order for this to like be more accepted it helps to have different types of people out here representing for the you know street art culture <laughs>